Okay. First of all, I want to say thank you for coming back and for attending this, this um, service awards ceremony. And I know this is a little bit different this year, but we appreciate that everyone has taken the time to come out to support their coworkers. Um, I'd like to thank my committee for, without their help, this wouldn't be going on today. <laughs> and you probably can't tell, but I've been pulling my hair out backstage. But my committee members, um, in, in fact, I want to thank my VP, Gabrielle Miani. My committee members, <laughs> my committee members are my co-chair, um, Linda Garcia, Evelyn Garcia, um, Lucero Sanchez, Silvia Valadez, and Marcos Pineda. Um, without them and their help, none of this would have went on. It's a handful of people to put on such a huge event, so I really want to give them a round of applause. <laughs> so today marks the 13th year of service awards. 13 years doesn't seem like very long, right? When I think about I've only been here for four years, 13 years is like not very long at all. Um, but 13 years that Staff Council has been putting on this um, event with the help of Cal Poly Foundation, with the help of the President's Office, and, um, and I think it really has evolved over the years and it just goes to show the appreciation that the university has for its um, staff, faculty, and its management. So I thank you all for being here today. So we've got some of uh, our agenda is a little bit different today. You've all gotten a program, so you can all see who our presenters are. You'll notice that um, nobody's up on stage like normal, so we're trying it a little bit different this year. We would really appreciate your feedback when this is over. You can go to the Staff Council website, go to our contact us, and just shoot us an email and let us know how you liked the ceremony, what you thought we should do, what you thought we should do different. We would really appreciate that. Um, I would like to introduce our first presenter so we can get this ball rolling. Um, our first presenter will be presenting service awards for the 40-year, 35-year, and the 30-year service awardees. And our first presenter today will be our president, President Soraya Coley. Thank you so much. This and uh, uh, the opportunity to recognize uh, faculty and staff who have given their time and uh, their dedication and their effort to making Cal Poly Pomona such a great institution is always a highlight for me of fall conference. And so this is a continuation of our morning uh, activity. And I want to uh, thank, I know in some cases we have family members and friends who've come out to recognize, again, the people who are being honored today. I'm proud of your dedication to our students and your willingness to go the extra mile and give our students your valuable time and attention. Your many years of service certainly speaks to the commitment and the focus that you have for making Cal Poly Pomona what it is. I also would be remiss if I didn't thank the staff council. I've had such fun with the staff council events and activities. They even had me out on the dance floor at their uh, picnic uh, last year. But this does take a lot of time, and it just doesn't happen without the effort of individuals working together. And so please join me in giving a round of applause to staff council again. And so now I am very happy to uh, present, uh, what is it, the 40? That's amazing. Can you believe that? In one place, that's tremendous. Uh, the 40 and the 35 and the 30 years. So let's begin.
receiving her 40-year pin, Deborah Gar. years, Minerva Camacho, <laughs> while at Cal Poly Pomona, Minerva Camacho has held a variety of roles. She enjoyed being the first friendly face that students saw when they were looking at any record information. In 1987, she moved to admissions where she handled both general and foreign university applications. In 1991, she moved to the College of Education and Integrative Studies, serving in many roles, starting in program admissions. Since then, she has served as a credential analyst in various levels. Today, as the senior credential analyst for multiple subject programs, she evaluates and recommends students as candidates for credentials. Minerva's favorite part of her work as, is the same as her first day, interacting with students. She wants to be a resource of information for them because the students are the reason she's here. Mary Martinez, 35 years. <laughs> Mary Martinez, Director of Payroll and Benefits, started her career at Cal Poly Pomona in 1980 and has over 20 years of CSU payroll experience that includes 10 years of CSU management experience. In addition to payroll, Mary spent a number of years working in the College of Environmental Design and then managing the HR and Payroll Customer Service Center. Mary directs the operations of both payroll services and benefits, ensuring that federal and state laws are, and CSU policies are followed to ensure that over 2,400 Cal Poly Pomona employees are paid correctly and in a timely manner, and that benefit... <laughs> a personal thank you. <laughs> 35 years, Dr. Peter Yates. Dr. Peter Yates is a guitarist and a composer whose interest in things unusual has led to works for prepared guitar, cycles of pop art songs, and a puppet opera about the Watts Towers and a DVD ghost town opera in which historic photographs come to life and sing. In The Egg and the Seed, he developed a form of comic book oratorio, featuring 250 original narrative collages whose text blocks and word balloons are not read but sung. Recent performance activity has included recording and performing with the trio ensemble fret and the duo guitar aria. His work with Eligar Yates' duo included 16 hours of Europe, over 100 tours of Europe, over 100 premieres, and a book on prepared guitar. He takes inspiration from the full history of music and is happy to notice that the memorable composers from the American West have been its mavericks. His works have been performed on Italian National Radio, RAI, Microfest, the Living Arts Festival, Now Festival, Festival of American Music in Mexico, Europe, and across the United States. His performances and compositions are recorded for reference recordings in Nova, Centaur, Bridge, and TR Records. Congratulations, Dr. Peter Yates. Dr. Aubrey Fine, 35 years. Since arriving at the College of Education and Integrative Studies, Dr. Aubrey Fine has made an impact both on and off campus. He's written a number of books on parenting, attention disorders, and his specialty, human-animal interaction, including the Handbook on Animal-Assisted Therapy, which is used in veterinary schools and universities across the United States and Europe. Dr. Fine has earned various awards, such as the Wang Family Excellence Award for Distinguished Professor in the California State University System in 2001, the 2006 Cal Poly Faculty Award for Community Engagement, and most recently, the William F. McCullough Award for Excellence in Human-Animal Interaction Education, and for Practice by the International Association of Human-Animal Interactions Organizations. Whew. He serves on a number of committees, both on and off campus, including the Human Animal Bond Research Advisory Board, International Brotherhood of Magicians, and the University RTP Committee. 
demonstrating his commitment to the Cal Poly Pomona, he recently created the CP Met Metropolitan Amber Equine, human-animal bond scholarship named after his favorite horse friend at the Equine Center. Thank you, Dr. Fine, for 35 years. Janet Rice. Janet Rice started her career at Cal Poly Pomona in 1981 as a receptionist for the Computer Center, answering phones and typing documentation for computer programmers. She advanced to managing computer accounts on the university's mainframe computer. Soon after, Janet was part of the team that established Cal Poly's centralized help desk, where she's been providing IT assistance to the campus community ever since. During her 35 years, Janet watched IT evolve from mainframes to desktops, laptops, tablets, and now smartphones. Data storage transitioned from magnetic tape to cloud storage. She has helped thousands of faculty, staff, and students claim their accounts, reset their passwords, not to mention migrate their emails to Office 365 in the cloud. She, good job. <laughs> she has also helped with moving student records to PeopleSoft. With each change, Janet assisted the campus community every step of the way. Janet describes her job as challenging but fun. She enjoys helping people resolve their computer problems. Congratulations to Janet Rice on 35 years. Welcome to the stage, Anna Maldonado, 35 years. Anna Maria Maldonado is the principal cellist with the San Bernardino Symphony Orchestra and is also a freelance musician who received her Master of Music in Cello Performance from the University of Southern California, where she studied with Gabor Rejto. Anna Maria was awarded a J.D. Rockefeller Fellowship to promote Western classical music in Bangkok, Thailand, where she played in the Kennedy String Quartet and traveled throughout Asia, concertizing under the Aus auspices of the United States Information Service. Currently, Anna Maria teaches at Cal Poly Pomona, Cal State San Bernardino, J.P. College, Cal Baptist University, Riverside Community College, and at Claremont Community School of Music. Anna Maldonado, thank you for 35 years. Edward Rockland, 30 years. Edward Rockland began teaching at Cal Poly Pomona in September 1986. He has published 22 essays, including works in Shakespeare Quarterly, Shakespeare Survey, Shakespeare Yearbook, Shakespeare Bulletin, and the Journal of Dramatic Theory and Criticism. He is working on a book entitled Reading as an Experimenter, Engaging the Shakespeare's Plays. Congratulations, Dr. Edward Rockland. Karen Russikoff, 30 years. Thank you, Karen, for your 30 years of commitment. Dr. Richard Wilson, 30 years. Dr. Wilson has been a professor of urban and regional planning since 1986. Since joining the department, he has been a role model in teaching, research, and service. His research achievements were honored in the 2014-15 Provost Awards for Excellence in Scholarly and Creative Activities. Congratulations, Dr. Richard Wilson. Dr. Deborah Whitson, 30 years. Dr. Deborah Whitson has been a marketing professor for over 30 years, receiving numerous awards for teaching and classroom presentation strategies. Being a consumer psychologist by trade, Dr. Whitson brings a unique perspective to the marketing research field. Dr. Whitson, thank you for your time here at Cal Poly. Dr. Cheryl Wyrick, 30 years. Cheryl Wyrick began as a lecturer in the College of Business Administration and was hired as a tenure-track faculty in 1994. Cheryl gives back to the professional community by holding volunteer leadership positions in HR professional associations, including the Society of Human Resource Management, PIRA, and Human Resource Certification Institute. Congratulations, Dr. Cheryl Wyrick. 
Mr. Reginald Keyes, 30 years. Reginald Reggie Keyes is a Marine veteran who served our country in Vietnam and later came to Cal Poly Pomona in December 1985. Devoted to the well-being and success of each of the residents in his buildings, Reggie always makes time to stop and say hello to the students and make them feel at home in their residence halls. Mr. Keyes, thank you for your 30 years. Doc, Mr. Donald Page. Don started in 1985 as a clerical assistant in the cataloging department while continuing to work full time at Cal Poly. He enrolled in and completed his master's in library and information science program at San Jose State, San Jose State University. Congratulations, Mr. Donald Page. Coming back to our 35 years, I'd like to welcome Deborah Goman. <laughs> Deborah grew up on the Cal Poly Pomona campus. As soon as she and her twin sister, Denise, were free of diapers, her dad would bring them to the campus to visit the animals and play on the grounds. In 1981, Deborah, also known as Debbie, landed a job at Cal Poly Pomona as a transcript clerk in administration admissions, followed by an admissions analyst. In 1994, she was thrilled to be hired as an evaluator trainee and then evaluator and currently a transfer and graduate advisor in the registrar's office. Through all of her positions, she has been passionate and dedicated to helping her students along the way from admission to graduation. Deborah is a valuable team member to the registrar's office for the past 22 years. She has always gone above and beyond to support the members of her team, as well as many members of the campus community. On top of her duties as a transfer and graduation advisor, she has served as an emergency floor captain since 1994 and has proudly served on staff council for the past three years and last two years on the staff council executive board. She was also recently invited by foundation to serve on the foundation board of directors. What Deborah, Je what Deborah cherishes most about Cal Poly Pomona are the lifelong friendships that she has made over the years with staff, faculty, and some of her students. Two highlights of her years at Cal Poly are receiving the 2001 to 2002 Outstanding Academic Advisor Award, and her most recent thrilling moment memory was being invited along with other members of the Staff Council Executive Board to walk in the procession line at President Coley's investiture. Deborah, thank you for your 35 years. <laughs> Celebrating 30 years, Mr. Larry Heiser. Although Larry's tenure at CPP officially began in July 1986, his aspiration to work here began when he was nine years old, when he and his mother were watching the Rose Parade on TV, and she mentioned that the float was built by students at Cal Poly Pomona. He currently is the lead in Access Services, where he supervises over 20 students and five staff. Congratulations, Larry. Welcome to the stage, Miss Gail Paquette, 30 years. Gail is the head of dance and professor in the Department of Theater and New Dance. She is also an independent producer and performs at, at Highways with PRISM, P-R-I-S-M, Dance Collective, Mechanism Dance Theater, and the Market Gallery Studio in Los Angeles. Ms. Paquette, thank you for your 30 years. Please welcome Ms. Donna Leonard as she celebrates her 30 years. Congratulations, Donna. Ty Depp Nguyen, 30 years. Ms. Nguyen graduated from Cal Poly with a hotel and restaurant management degree and was hired as a staff member in the library in Bibliographic Access Services, doing copy cataloging. She now specializes in electronic resource maintenance and management in the ER unit for the past six years. Ms. Nguyen, thank you for your 30 years of commitment. Also celebrating 30 years, Than Nguyen. 
Dan Nguyen is currently a lecturer in the computer science department. He has been with the department since it was first created in the early 80s. His passion is bringing the latest advancements in computer technology, whether in software or hardware, to the classroom. Congratulations, Dan Nguyen. Regina Dravis, 30 years. Gina Dravis has worked in the Disability Resource Center for 30 years and has held multiple positions during her time. Gina's current role is Student Disability Services and Academic Support Coordinator. She is very passionate about her work and is a vital member of the DRC team. Ms. Dravis, thank you for your 30 years of commitment. Also celebrating 30 years, Tarek Quayam. Tarek joined Cal Poly Pomona in 1986. 30 years have gone by in a flash, and he plans to teach a few more years before retiring. Tarek has always enjoyed teaching and educating young minds. He thinks Cal Poly Pomona is a great place to teach, and by the way, he has a perfect record in tennis against his students, and the challenge is still on. Congratulations, Tarek. Dr. Jamshid Arman, 30 years. Dr. Arman has a unique teaching style that has benefited thousands of students during his time with us. He has a pleasant and soothing demeanor that is exceptionally patient, understanding, and encouraging, which tends to remove the fear of physics that students often have. Dr. Arman, thank you for your 30 years of commitment. Glendy Yeh. Please congratulate Glendy on her 30 years. Karen Scott, 30 years. My apologies, Miss Schott, thank you for your 30 years of commitment to Cal Poly Pomona. Rick Cass, 30 years. Rick Cass enlisted in the United States Navy in the summer of 1972, becoming his family's second Vietnam War veteran. He served the United States Navy for six years. Rick started at Cal Poly in August of 1986, and his first job was videotaping the opening of the brand new Bronco Bookstore during fall conference. Mr. Cass, thank you for your commitment of 30 years. Okay, we're now going to begin the presenting of the 25-year service awards. Presenting those um, service awards will be our uh, acting VP, Terry Gomez, associate, associate VP. <laughs> Provost Alpha was called to the Chancellor's office for an important meeting, so she apologizes for not being here today. So I get to stand in for her. Thank you. Welcoming Dr. Shala Shanaz Latpapur, 25 years. Congratulations, Wendy Tusher. Kevin Jensen, 25 years. Leticia Guzman Scott, congratulations on 25 years. David Speak, thank you for your 25 year commitment to Cal Poly Pomona. Congratulations on 25 years. Donna Babensi, thank you for your 25 year commitment to Cal Poly. Joyce Emilio, congratulations on 25 years.
both starting together on the same day here at Cal Poly Pomona, we have Dr. Daniel Manson and Dr. Laura Prizer Hoy, 25 years. Wow, that was fast. Okay, we will now start the presentation of the 20-year recipients. Um, awarding those will be um, Associate Vice President <laughs> Terry Gomez and Vice President for Academic Affairs and Chief Financial Officer Danielle Manning. And welcome, Danielle. This is her first time participating in the ceremony with us today. Sonia Rashea Atkins. Lavada Austin. Raul Zavala. Teresa Castaneda. Leticia Drapeau. Lori Starkey. Nicole Wickler. Eric Emerson. Johnny Mark Joe. Susan Bayard. Daniel Malo. Becky Pepping. Miguel Guzman. Victoria Key. Stacy Shellner. Rosie Passos. Marie Claire Gager. Anne Fong. Carol Gonzalez. Nancy Merlino. Kim Rubalcava. Darwin Labordo. <laughs> Ricardo Quintero. Michelle Crowder. <laughs> Devor Linthicum. Way Bidlack. <laughs> Leticia Torres. That concludes the presentation of our 20-year service award recipients. Beginning with 15-year service award recipients, our presenters will be Executive Director of the Cal Poly Pomona Foundation, Paul Story, and Vice President of Student Affairs, Leah Jarnigan. One Choi. Kimberly Villati. Kathy Byram. <laughs> Raul Soler. Terry Hogan. Sal Cervera. John Rotuni. Ruth Carrington. Campbell Austin Dinsmore. Jeffrey Marshall. Rebecca Rivas. Ahmad Rahea. Jaton Caesar. Paula Sosta. 
Guadalupe Linares. Amy Gamino. Luis Mills. Catherine Taylor. Leslie Taylor Contla. Jennifer Switkiss. Laura Pahopian. Christine Hartney. Zechariah Elias Joel. Marie Maslowski. Chris Serber. Luis Hoyos. Kelly Pena. Marty Aguilar. Victoria Vega. Salam Salom. Michael Carnes. Patricia Martinez. Marcy Elizabeth Gates. Maria Vitella. Lucas Lanting. Oh, Pedro Carrillo. Cynthia Chatfield. Therese Turner. Maria Kupfer Schmidt. Tom Zazadinsky. Jesse Viegas. That concludes the awarding of our 15 year service awardees. Awarding the service awards for 10 years is Vice President of IT, John McGuthrie, and Administrator in Charge of University Advancement, Terry Mendoza. Introducing our 10 years, Annie Montez. Leslie Corcoran. Elias Carbajal. Norma De La Yada. Janetta McDowell. Juliana Shang. Dennis Miller. Kathy Gonzalez. Randall Townsend. Susana Gonzalez. Arnold Colantes Ulgado. George Wright. Dr. Leah Dobson. Gregory Carlton. Francisco Crevon. Timothy Corcoran. Carolina Sanchez. Nancy O'Brien. Andre Lawton. David Craig. Gladys Valdez. Michael Alvarez. Young J. Lee. Michael Perez. Zen Jing Mao. Angel Valdez. Mai Tran. Antonio Betancourt Sepulveda. Sherry Daniel. Anjana Narayan. Trevor Henderson. Lizalyn Smith. Pauline Muliana. Kent Dixon. David Seagal. Marie Elizabeth Robb. 
Sue Lucero. Romina Aguilera. Lily Lee. Manisha Desai. Darren Isamoto. Jacqueline Miranda. Debra Chavez. Jaime Landman. Kathleen Monfort. Leah Tarin. Lorena Marquez. Tisha Roby. Eric Zelaya. Sarawathi Kumathi. Peter Kilduff. And Erica Olguin. And Denise Apodaca, congratulations. Okay, that concludes the awarding of our 10-year service awards. We wanna thank you very much for attending today's services. And we would like to see you all at the reception at the Manor House later on this afternoon. Thank you and have a great day.